guys, I'm Sam. And I'm Melissa. And we're the last codfish. And today we're going to make some cool stuff with mason jars. Yes, we're going to start with some glittery mason jars. And so first I'm going to walk you through what you need. And Melissa will display them for you. I will be your banner white. So first thing you're going to need is a mason jar. Lovely. Beautiful. Second, spray paint of your choosing. Right over here. Mm -hmm. Metallic. Then you're going to need some glitter of your choosing. Here you go. And also some Mod Podge, which will stuff. be the stuff that glues the glitter down and seals it. And that should be all you need for this one. So let's get started. So the first step is to put your mason jar face down on the cardboard, like so. Um, shake your spray paint <laughs> for one to two minutes. And you know, when you spray it, hold it about six inches, sweeping motions. Spray not into the wind. That's basically what you need to know. So I'm just gonna start now and hopefully it goes okay. I have spray painted before, but whoa, <laughs> you're getting a little blue. You're spray painting me. <laughs> okay. Looking good. That's like one side. Now I will turn it. This is why you use cardboard. Uh, the wind. We're gonna be very spray painted. We've got a shield. <laughs> Make sure you do this in a well ventilated area. You should be going slower than I am, but I'm not. Me. She's a pro. I'm a pro. I've done this once before. Not One. a mason jar, but. And it says that, um, it won't be very thick the first time, so you might want to do like multiple layers, but wait a while between them, probably. Okay. Are you telling the audience about me? <laughs> and you. <laughs> Everyone needs to know. All right, it looks pretty. Looking nice good. Done. Right next, we're going to use this Mod Podge to put the glitter onto the jar. So this is the glitter in a bowl, and Melissa is taping paper around the jar so that way it will be in a straight line when we get the glitter on there. Don't tape so, it to the jar because it will take your spray paint right off. Right, so just tape the paper. And so what we're going to do is spray with this and then immediately dip it into this glitter. And then once that's done, we're probably going to spray it again with this to seal it. So huh. I'll give that to you and we will go for it. All right. Oh, look at that. Perfect. You shake this just like the spray paint. And spray it just like the spray paint. It's a little harder to see, so I'm just gonna... Wait a bit. Dripping. Okay. So that's probably enough. Okay. All done. And then flip it over, plant it in the glitter, kind of roll it around. Okay, so we have finished splintering this jar. So now we're going to take off the paper and then it will be finished. Hopefully it looks beautiful. It kind of started raining while we were doing this one, so... It's a little not ideal. Yeah. I taped it good. It's like unwrapping a Christmas present. Ooh. Okay, paper a little stuck. We can fix this though. Maybe we can't fix this though. Okay. I think some like the mod pod got under the paper. Mm. Okay, so once you dip the stuff in glitter, take the drop before you seal it. Yes, that would be. 
would be numero uno. Plus it says maybe don't seal it once the glitter is on there at all because... Yeah, it got kind of like clumpy. I don't know if you can see from like this distance, but it did get kind of like clumpy. So maybe not seal it. I feel like the glitter is going to come off, so I don't know what it was, so... Yes. Okay, so now we're going to show you how to do a heart jar DIY. Yes. And the first thing you will need to do is take the tape, blue tape like this, it's paint based tape, and take your jar. Your jar, not your knife. Yes, jar first. Jar first. And what we're going to do is we're going to put just some tape on the jar. So, we will show you that now. It doesn't have to be a ton, because what you're going to do is you're going to cut a heart out of this tape. So just use a tiny bit like this. For um, for ours, we, this is the biggest tape we can find, so I think we're going to use a couple of layers of it, so that way it's thick enough, like the heart's as big as we want it, but you can make it whatever size you want. Unless that has drawn a lovely face on it. 
Oh yes, it made me feel better about what I did there. How oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So the next step will be to spray paint these in whatever color you want. Then you're going to leave this tape on there because that's what will make the hot copies. So we will show you spray painting of these momentarily. Okay, so now we're going to spray paint the ones with the hearts on them. So here's Masa, and here she will spray paint. Oh. You may possibly hear my dog at the door. So we have spray painted the heart jar, and now we're going to remove the tape. And Hopefully. Reveal the cutout. Hopefully. Hopefully. Looking good? Looking good so far. Piece number one. Looking good. Looking good. I expected one piece, but that's fine. This came off way quick. Looking so good. Look at that. Yes. So, <laughs> yeah, looking so good. So next thing that we can do, you don't have to do this, but is to make a little like stitching looking pattern around the heart. So you can use whatever color paint you want and this is gonna use white. Sounds you really wonderful. Just take a tiny paintbrush like this and basically you paint little lines separated all around the heart so it looks like stitching and also we'll show you that now. I will attest to you. She is the artist. <laughs> the artist. This is really wet paint. I mean liquid paint. Really wet paint. Okay, looking good. So the stitching pattern, like that if you want. And then... Hello dog! <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Ellie likes it. Once you're done with that, the last thing that you will probably want to do is put a little ribbon on it. So you don't have to do this, but it's just really cute. Take a little bit of ribbon and tie it around the top. So I don't know if you wanted any of these on there. Ooh, yeah, let's put a little white. And lo and behold, there you go. The beautiful heart job. A small string. And then. So we're doing a couple more. I've got my versions of those two and we also made tiny little cutouts with um, one of them has a dollar sign, one of them has an anchor. So once they are all finished we will insert a clip of the finished products. <laughs> and yes, that'll be all I think. Yeah. So thank you for watching us try something new with these crafts and hopefully you like them or get some sort of use out of them. I know I will. Yes, I'll put mine in my room. In my room, when they're done. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.